uh, as you yourself pointed out that a preliminary inquiry has been initiated by the CBI. Uh, it names unnamed bank officials. It does not name Chanda Kochar specifically. But should it not, sir, uh, be incumbent on the board of the bank to make this information public, to say that, yes, uh, an investigative agency has reached out to us, we are cooperating at this point in time. One from a disclosure perspective, sir, should there not be better disclosure on part of ICICI Bank? That's my first question to you, sir. Well, uh, well now or in 2012? No, no, now, now, sir. Now, now I think uh, Mr. Sharma has made a very proper statement in which he has said three things, if I remember right. I mean, I don't have the statement with me. Mm. But he has said that the uh, board has examined the whole matter and they have come to the conclusion that there has yeah. been no conflict of interest. Secondly, I think there has been no quid pro quo in respect of that. And third, I think all disclosures yes. have been made, yes. whatever is required to be made. These are the three things which are made. And as far as I know, Mr. Sharma, who was former cha vice chairman of the Hindustan Lever mm. and a uh, very respected person, mm. Mm. Uh, whatever he does, he used to do it fairly mm. thoroughly. Okay. And if he has made these three statements, you can right. take up issue with me, why don't you elaborate it? Okay. What did you mean by no conflict of interest? Mm. What did you mean by that? Mm. But I'm sure that the board would have gone into this matter before coming to this conclusion. Do you think the ma uh, issue mm. would have been better served? I mean, you have given us two new things today, mm. that no additional loan was sanctioned uh, in 2012. It was rollover and uh, consolidation of existing loans to Videocon. The second thing you're telling us is that uh, Deepak Kochar is still going to pay back and those are debentures uh, uh, that, uh, that still rest in uh, I mean, one of his all, companies. When Supreme Energy was uh, acquired by this new power, yes. they acquired both the assets and liabilities. Okay. And the uh, okay. assets that of the... That was new information the, for and us. And I believe that the assets and liabilities are 64 crores of rupees. Yes, yes. This the is the, what I hear. 64. I have not seen the balance sheet. Yes. That 64 crores of rupees becomes a liability of uh, new power. Mm. And new power has to be discharged. Mm. The only point is that new power is not, I am told, doing very well mm. because it's incurring losses. Mm. But they have to find the money to pay it when okay. the amount becomes due. Okay. That is their responsibility. Okay. Uh, so it is not as though they got the money free or anything like that. Uh, yeah, that is true. I mean, I, mm. if, if they are going to pay back, if, then it is not when, free. When, when I put together the information which I get from the ICC bank, mm. I see clearly no economic advantage accruing to the coacher, mm. Deepak coacher, as a result of this transaction. Okay. Whether the transaction was a, uh, the amount of 64 crores of rupees which came mm. is leveraging the relationship of with Videocon. Mm. And that leveraging of the relationship arose because Chanda coacher was in the ICC bank. Okay. And Videocon happens to be uh, a, a client of the borrower. Now, if you really look at it, mm. in 1980s, mm. when I was chairman of uh, ICIC Bank, we did one, we made a presentation, I remember, in one of the rating agencies. If you take 100 top companies mm. in the country, 99 of them had a borrowing relationship with uh, ICIC. ICIC. The one bank, one company which did not fall within that 100 mm. was Colgate. Okay. Colgate okay. never borrowed any money from a bank, okay. and except that, 99 borrowed. So okay. you will not find a client who did not have a borrowing relationship with ICC Bank. Okay, so we're running out of time, but the new uh, uh, issue that is in the public domain now is that uh, uh, Mr. Deepak Kocher's brother, Rajiv Kocher, is running an advisory firm, and uh, he gets a commission for arranging a lot of uh, the uh, loans taken by borrowers of ICICI. And uh, two FCCBs were rolled over or paid back by Videocon, and that was done uh, under the advisory services of, uh, I think, Avista is the name of the company. Yeah. Now, but, does uh, not that also look uh, like uh, frankly, you know, there are related two issues, party? Two issues are there. We should be extremely careful that all allegations do not become true. No. And That's secondly, yeah. just because there is a relationship between Rajiv Kata, there is, we must have a cutoff point at some point of time. Mm. After all, he becomes a brother-in-law. What mm. is the relationship between the two brothers? Okay. Is it a, a part of a family business or is it something different? Okay. And secondly, that man is in that business. How long he has been in that business? Okay. That is also an important issue. So, if he had been in that business, he would be dealing with uh, hundreds of companies. Okay. And Videocon will be one of the companies where he would be going and doing business. Okay. So I think, 
if, if a point is made, that point has to be inquired into. Mm. But I think we should not jump into conclusions. Okay. That just because the point has been made, that act to be, to be true. Okay. I think it is. Uh, it, it will not be fair on the part of... No, uh, I completely agree. Uh, but we just want to know whether the board was aware that... Uh, uh, but this allegation Deepa surfaced brother. only now. Yes, yes, it surfaced uh, 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 in the in last fact, 24 hours. I did hours. not yeah. see this. Yeah. One, only today I saw yes, that... Uh, same here. Sir. I think. Mm. Frankly, I think it would not have been in the radar of uh, ICIC Bank board at that time. Okay. What was perhaps in the ICIC Bank board radar was an allegation that Deepak Kocher mm. leveraged the relationship which Vijo Videocon oh. had with the ICC yes, Bank. Yes. I think the, it seems to me, mm. while well, I was not there, mm. I had never talked to Mr. Sharma also, mm. I can very see the thought process at the time. Okay. The thought process is very, very clear. No new loan has been given to okay. uh, Videocon. Oh. There is nothing to leverage upon. Okay. The second point is that Videocon has been a client of the bank uh, for, for a very long time. And uh, what exactly, whether there was a Deepak Kocher borrowed money from uh, Videocon, whether it was Videocon's money or somebody else's money, they must have heard the concept that it was a Supreme Energy. Yes. Supreme Energy is the managing director was on um, Punglia or uh, somebody. Yes. Yeah, but before that it was Dooth. Before that I think there would have been no way unless uh, somebody digs into it. it uh, yeah. And uh, it would be very difficult for the board to keep on digging into it. Okay. If he had made an investment, mm. where did you get this money? I mean, uh, he's not... Uh, he's, uh, there is no local standing for ICC Bank board to go to Poglia. Okay. And says, will you please tell us where did you get the money, money who from? gave you the money? It's impossible for them. Okay. Should I he? think that there is uh, there is a sense of propriety. Uh, uh, yes. You cannot keep on looking at it from the point yes. of view of there is always a suspicion in whatever is being done. Yeah, but I think preliminary inquiry would reveal mm. at some point of time whether there is an issue of propriety, whether the issue of an economic advantage. Okay. But till then, I think it will be rash for us to come to mm. a conclusion okay. and make a big issue out of it. Okay. Fair because point. the whole thing, to me, it appears right. no, uh, no, you, you, as a person who had been... Uh, associated with ICC for 30 years. Mm. I am, uh, mm. it gives me a feeling of, uh, 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 I mean, uh, misery okay. that ICC Bank should be in the limelight. I think if ICC Bank has done something wrong, mm. it should be in the limelight. Mm. If I, Kochar, Mrs. Kochar has done something wrong, mm. I think she should be in the limelight. Mm. Without that, you should not go on the basis that mere allegations represent facts. One quick last question, Mr. Vagul. Uh, sir, you know, the fact of the matter is that the CBI has initiated a preliminary inquiry. Uh, the SFIO is separately probing the Mehul Choksi matter. That's a separate matter altogether. But a lot of people say that given the fact that this is now, in a sense, a, a reputational risk to the bank, it has uh, also led to erosion as far as shareholder wealth and shareholder value is concerned because it has impacted the way that the stock is reacting. Uh, people are suggesting that maybe uh, it would be fair to say that, uh, you know, till the inquiry is completed, till there is a conclusion and there is an all clear, that there should be a, a change in the leadership till that process uh, is followed through. Do you think that that is, that is uh, the right demand, the right ask? I think it's for the board and the... I would not comment on that at all. I saw that uh, report. But, uh, I would not express a view. I mean, after all, we have got a very responsible board. I see the bank board is not a, so, I mean, it's not a, what you call an interested board. It consists of all the independent directors. And Mr. Sharma, to my mind, is an outstanding leader. Hmm. I mean, the board will have to take a call. And I don't, personally, if I were sitting there, just because an allegation is made, you said to step aside. Well, uh, Mr. Vagul, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18, sir. Thank you very much for your time uh, and appreciate you joining us uh, on the show.